Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. My friend Ellie went home last night. She was the dog I was watching. We had a good week. She didn't have any issues, meaning seizures. Um, if you didn't catch that, she has epilepsy. And that's why um, she was staying with me while her family was gone. So right now, I just ran some errands this morning. I went to Target. I needed cat food. I went to the Dollar Tree for a video for this week. And I went to Staples and got the last, I think, of the kids' school supplies. And I will do a haul here in a minute of what I got my little cousins for back to school since we don't even know if they're going back to school, right? But I'll do a haul for you. But first, I keep the cat food. These, um, this is Sheba Perfect Portions. So each in the morning and the night, so in the morning, the boys will share one of these. So they get about a tablespoon and at night they share one, half, the other half. And then if Wellington decides in the middle of the day that he's hungry, I will give him a half a can then. Mostly because he just doesn't, um, he doesn't eat good. He's pretty much given up on the hard foods, like the crunchy, so it's fine. I'm home. The vet said it was okay. So I, had, I went and bought the 12 packs, 12 twin packs of this. Um, I had $4 off coupon. So they were regularly $10 a piece, um, but I got them, and I'm trying to open all three so I can have a variety. So I got them three box, three of these for like $15. So this is salmon and tuna. This one is chicken and turkey. And then I just put them in the in this bag and separate them. Um, I'm just trying, I pulled out the last batch. And then this one is salmon and tuna. Oh, they're the same. Tuna, salmon. Oh, just different colors. It's fine. They'll eat whatever I give them. To be honest with you, they don't care. Most days. And then sometimes what I'll do is um, pick them up a supplement. Like if I'm in the store, I'll grab like some beef or just a different one. I don't know if they care. If they care, I care. How about that? All right. So this will be let's see, about a month and a half. Probably, I would have to say. That's a month and a half worth of wet food for them, which is pretty good. Um, being home, I can monitor much easier what they eat. I'm also making coffee, if you didn't see. Um, and then, I am going to meet my work friends at a restaurant called Roosters. They do like chicken wings and stuff. I think we're going to eat out on the patio and tonight at six and it's four right now. So I've got about an hour and a half and then I'll go meet them. Maybe I'll bring you along and let you say hi to everybody if they're okay with being on video. Ah, uh, hazelnut. Hazelnut. Oh, I went to Aldi last night after my friend picked up her dogs and... I'll bring you along. I'm going to make Indian butter shrimp, but I got salted caramel coffee and toasted coconut. Doesn't that sound delicious? I love flavor coffee. So I grabbed those because I was running low. We broke into the peppermint mocha. <laughs> oh, that's Wellington. All right. Well, I'm going to clean up this mess and get myself ready for dinner. You hungry, buddy? This is their portion, just a little bit. You hungry? What do you say? Yeah, I will feed you. All right, now, little Mr. Wellington needs his dinner. But he, he's my fusser, so he needs a couple treats on his. Right, Bubs? Right? You gonna eat that? 
And then that's his dinner. Oh, good boy. All right, guys, we are going to spray paint this thrift store find. I got it for four dollars and like ninety cents. Oh, there's a daddy long leg on it. I'm not trying to kill it. I just want it off. There we go. So I'm going to spray paint it with this copper metallic by Krylon. Okay, so here we go. Sunday morning and it is 11 o'clock I'm headed to Bath and Body Works I want a candle or 10 um, my house it, it doesn't smell reality I've asked everybody who comes in part of it is my allergies I can't smell a lot of stuff and I'm afraid of getting like nose blind to the cats. And now I've had a dog. I can smell that there's been a dog in my house. Not bad, just dog. So, and I love burning candles and essential oils. And I've been out of my Bath and Body Works candle for, well, let's just tell you that I've been burning the dredges of my Christmas ones. You know, like at the end of Christmas, if there's this much left at the bottom, I usually just stick them on a shelf and then Next Christmas, that is what I will start burning. The holiday season, you know, usually in November, December, I start burning the more holiday scents, but I haven't had any candles. I mean, I've had cheap candles, let's be honest. And I do have Peppermint Twist and my Balsam that I buy every year for next, like I have them for this year coming up, but those are, I don't want to burn my Christmas trees. So, um, <laughs> This is a big wine, is what it is. I've been past, this is about the body works right by my house. I've been past several, several times during like my weekends when I run my errands. And there's a line and I don't want to wait in line. See, I told you I'm just whining. It's just whining. So I'm trying to go today when they open. My eyes are goopy today. When they open to hopefully avoid a line. I just want to buy a couple candles and they're on sale right now. But I want some summer scents. You know, before I... Oh, let's wear this one today. What do you think? Um, I do wash these every time I wear them, guys. Just so you know. And I'm going to be sewing some new ones. Squirrel! My cousins brought me some fabric that they want... Or some things that they want me to try to turn into masks. So we're going to do that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to Bath and Body Works. Do I have to have candles in my life? No. But if I'm going to be stuck at home, and I say stuck, but I mean, if I'm going to be home, right, because that's what the right thing to do and not be out all the time, I just want to enjoy it and I want my summer candles before they're gone. They're on uh, half price right now. So we're going to Bath and Body Works. All of that, three minutes to say, hey guys, we're going to Bath and Body Works. And I've already brought the totes in out of the garage that we are going to organize. And I started tidying up the shelves around it because what happens is, and I'll take you out there and show you my nasty garage, but it's too hot right now for me to actually like open up the garage door and do a deep clean, which is what it's gonna need. But I need to wait for it to be cooler. It's already 85, I'm not doing it right now. But what I do want to do is pull in all the totes, right? Pull them all in and then organize them. So originally they were like a tote for summer, a tote for this, but they're all mismoshed together now because as I put away one season, I throw stuff in that tote just to get it a, very unorganized. So that's what we're doing today. And I have my series going on getting ready for Halloween's giving. So I need to collect and pull out all of my fall goodies. Ooh, that's my air freshener. I can tuck it up. Um, I want to get all my fall stuff organized and purged and figure out exactly what I have because that's step. That's the next step, like purging, organizing, and then making a list of 
the things off of my Pinterest board that I think that I would like to have or that I think would, you know, match my decor. Now there's a little, a little wrench in the plan. It's very minor wrench, but a wrench nonetheless. Um, currently I have brown furniture, but I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting new furniture. And at first I wasn't going to do this until after the first of the year. However, um, I think I'm going to utilize the new, the next stimulus check that's coming and invest that into some new living room furniture. The stuff I have is older, it's peeling, it's like fake leather and it's peeling. It was something, you know, my, my mom and I had purchased quickly when I bought this condo. So it's just time to upgrade. and. My living room is not big, if you've seen the videos. And what I really want, since it's literally just me, is I would like a um, love seat and two armchairs instead of a big couch that takes up a lot of room. Um, a couple reasons, it takes up a lot of room, but it also blocks my fireplace, which I love my fireplace. Oh, is there a line already? <laughs> no. Okay, the door's not even open yet. Oh, yes, it is. It's open and there's no line. Yay. Oops, stop. It's open and there's no line. That's exciting. So I can run in and grab my candles this morning and get what I need. I'll show you when I come back out. Um, anyway, so I think I'm going with like a slim line, uh, gray couch and two chairs instead of a big couch, a big chair situation so things centered around furniture like throw blankets and things I'll wait until I have my furniture but anywho I'll make my list let's go about the body work okay all right we're back out and the sale ended yesterday but they did have some for 75% off I'll show you what I got so they're regularly $24.50 so I got them for $6.12. They're Christmas scents, but they're my Christmas scents that I love. So I was happy about that. Uh, we got Frosted Cranberry, which I feel like I could burn now. It's just a sweet, sweet berry scent. I'll burn this one now. Then they had Frosted Candy Apple. Mm, I love this one. It's like a sweet apple scent. I have a weird thing with some of their food candles. I don't like food candles. Uh, Tis the season. Ugh, that is straight up fall, winter. It's like cloves and, oh, what are the notes in this one, guys? Rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. This is very, I know it's Christmassy, but it's very fall to me. And then my absolute favorite that I get every year, several, balsam. It just smells like a Christmas tree, guys. And it's um, woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, cedar wood. So yummy. So there we have it. I mean, I got, oopsie, four candles for what I would normally spend, like the regular price of one. So that was good. I'm just bummed I didn't get a, they didn't actually have any, their candles on sale at all. Having some iced tea. They said they had a, the sale was, I saw it yesterday. Who has a one day sale? Apparently that body works, whatever. It's all good. We're gonna go home and I'm gonna light that cranberry one and we're gonna do some cleaning. Alrighty, right here what we're doing is I brought all the totes in out of my garage and I am purging through the fall, the Halloween, I did spring, summer, I did it all and I got it put back in the garage. So I hope you enjoy my little fast forward of how I purged all of the decor out of my garage.
Monday night. I'm a mess. I just worked in my garage getting some video documents up. Documentation? No. <laughs> some shots for some videos I have coming up. Now I'm going to clean up my kitchen and get ready for the end of the night. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will talk with you later. Bye.